Hey jammers, let's start with the basics. We're gonna cause an explosion. So I wanna challenge you to see what you guys can mix together in your kitchen or somewhere around your house to cause reaction, to make bubbles and gases to form, and then try to seal that in a sealed closed container and poof, cause it to explode. So here's what I'm gonna do. You can follow my method or follow your own, but whatever you do, post a video and share with us how it goes. So I'm gonna do a throwback something that you guys are probably familiar with. I have two different reactions that I can have right here. Both of these reactions create a gas, and if I trap that gas, it'll cause something to expand to the point where it breaks apart. I'm gonna be working with some Diet Coke and Mentos, and another science fair classic, some baking soda, and vinegar. So here's all you need. These materials right here in a closed, sealed container, and some paper towels work for deploying the uh, baking soda and vinegar. So my container that I'm gonna contain the reaction in are gonna be some Ziplocs, and I'm gonna also experiment with uh, this cashew bin right here and a couple salad containers that we picked up at the grocery store. This is pretty much all you need. You need Mentos, Diet Coke, baking soda, vinegar, some paper towels help, and uh, some sealed containers. So let's dive in and give it a shot. All I'm gonna do is take a little Ziploc or a little baggie, pour some <clears throat> of the liquid in, so either some Diet Coke or some vinegar, and then put the baking soda or the Mentos in and seal it up. It'll gradually expand as it creates gases, which need more volume to kind of move around to poof, the point where we're gonna get a nice pop. So let's dive in and give it a shot. With the baking soda and vinegar, we're gonna lay out a paper towel we're gonna lay out some baking soda in a nice little line and fold it together almost like in a little packet. Then you pour some vinegar into your container and kind of pinch the little packet on the corner there so it doesn't react and mix together until after you've sealed it up tight. But the key thing is to kind of keep them separate until it's totally sealed so you can really trap the gases inside there. And then you can let it go, shake it up, and the reaction's gonna happen. That's going for sure. These bags are so strong. Oh, hooray! We have our first explosion. Let's do another. Oh, nice. We got one out the side.